And um, all right, so we're out of executive session at 7.10. And a motion would be in order to proceed with tuition payment requested for FY21 received before year end close and shall pay the full tuition charged at students attending a public high school in Vermont or an adjoining state or a public or approved independent school in Vermont functioning as an approved area career technical center or an independent school meeting education quality standards. Um, did we want to add one other thing in there? As yeah. as as per eight twenty four, is it? As per eight twenty four B. Eight twenty four B. I will amend that motion to add eight twenty four B, as per eight twenty four B statute eight twenty four B. We, we don't need to put Vermont in there, do we? Vermont statute? I don't think so. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll second then. Who made that motion? You, I thought, I you, thought you did. You oh, did. I said, well, I said a motion would be in order too. So. Um, I will so move. Thank you, George. I'll second. It's Amanda. Thank you. I know. By the time I got done reading it, <laughs> What did I say to begin with? Yeah. Okay. Uh, any further discussion on this? Seeing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passes. All right. The Ira Town School District will, as per the Vermont Statute 824B, I make a motion to proceed with tuition payments request for FY21 received before year end close and accept as otherwise provided for technical students. District shall pay the full tuition charged at students attending a public school in Vermont or an adjoining state or a public or approved independent school in Vermont functioning as an approved area career technical center or an independent school meeting education quality standards. All in favor? Aye. Motion passes. All right. All right, everyone. Um, I think Eric, that just about covers it. Yeah. Before we go, were we going um, to just mention that everything else will be discussed later on at other meetings? Um, we wouldn't be able to discuss it in open session anyway. Right. Um, I thought you said we needed that second motion. We will be addressing uh, this issue going forward. Yeah. I mean, it. This is in regards to developing or changing current policies to address it. Do we want to mention that, that we're looking at a policy? I think if, if the board wants, it could be something that comes to the policy committee would be my thought. Um, and then the policy committee would take it up with, you know. But this isn't the Grixu policy committee. This would be just for Wells Springs and for Ira. I think it would be beneficial to have in the minutes that the board made a statement that um, tuition for next year is going to be reviewed at a later date so that parents that are looking that are sending their students one that are questioning whether it's covered for next year, know that it's unknown at this time. Yes, that's what I, yes, that's yep. what I was trying to remember, Lewis, was the wording of what we had decided. So, yeah. 
I, I was thinking that some mention of a policy might might help you in, in answering requests, Lewis. What do you what do you think? I, I agree, and it doesn't need to be a motion. Just could be the board by consensus um, is working on a policy to address FY twenty two school year and, and future school years. Well, we'll look into um, a policy because we're not act. We haven't actually started talking about a policy. So, I mean, I guess if that's what everyone likes to do, that's fine. And, and Meredith, uh, for your question, if if you feel that um, that the GRCSU policy committee isn't, you know, where no. it should be, um, that's fine by me. I, I just, you know, we've, we've started other policies there and some, you know, some of these other policies are gonna end up we're not going to be on the same page, you know, as far as some of the other districts. So, um, you know, having said that, that was my thought. But uh, yeah, I mean, that that's what I meant is that it's it has nothing to do with. Well, it's really only Quarry Valley that it has nothing to do with. But then I also feel that the three others, Rutland Town, Ira and Wells Springs are different, too. But um the choice issue just is at a different place and um, it's still a choice issue. Yep. Uh, okay. And in my also mind is I'm not sold on a policy either. So it's maybe another motion, maybe our next action before we come up with a policy, maybe the policy is going to be next year. I don't know. I'm not ready to say we're going to have a policy for sure, but we'll be looking um, at how we're handling the next year over the next couple meetings. Yeah, I agree. I'm, I I feel the same way. Uh, once you put it in policy, then uh, it's it, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of meetings, and you know, then it's set. You know, yep. um, or we could we could pull that policy, but then there would be the question of why. So, I think I'm I'm comfortable with the statement saying that the board will um, re review and discuss tuition for FY22. Um, that would be my thought. Yep, sounds good. Okay. Ira, I'd say tui tuition for next year will be reviewed at a later date in terms of for, for Ira. Excellent. All right, so uh, Chris and Lewis, does that that cover everything for um, for for action? Yes, awesome. thank you. All right. Well, if there's uh, no further business, mm -hmm. then uh, a, a motion. Uh, I would entertain a motion to adjourn. All right, Seven nineteen. I'll make the motion. Thank you. Is there a second? Uh, I'll second. It's Amanda. All right. All those in favor, sign off. Bye. Uh, Lance has to close the meeting as well. Yep. And uh, Mary, I'd be looking for a motion to adjourn our meeting at 719 at 19 p.m. Yep. I'll make that motion. All right. All in favor can indicate by logging off. Thank you, everyone. Thank you all. Have a Chris, good night. Chris, good night. Do, you, do you have a minute really quick? Yes. Yep. Just just really we, quick. Uh, let me stop the recording real quick. Okay. Uh, just really 